Hey everybody, back again today because I got a request to do a review on this bag that I showed briefly in my video yesterday from my, my One World haul. And yes, I'm wearing that outfit that I mentioned yesterday. And um, I'll try to insert some pictures in to show you the outfit because I don't think you can see it all the way. I'm on my little, I it's not a little iPhone, it's a big iPhone, but it's a small camera. So this is basically the outfit. And you can see that little crochet back there. Um, and then the boots. Sorry guys, I'm not one of those dancers that can kick up high and stuff like that. What do they call those girls? Chorus line. There. Looks like that ginkgo is helping. Anyway, um, this was comfy today and the color is pretty close. I think it's just coming off on video a little different because in real life it's a pretty good match. Excuse me. Um, hair's tickling my nose. So this is the Pebble Grain Leather Hobo um, from Dooney and Burke in the color olive. And let me just quickly share with you the item number. It is the R924 OL for the color olive. And I did get this at the outlet, and I believe at the time it was either 40% off or 50% off. I can't remember at what point in time I shopped there for this one. Um, I always keep that information, registration card and tags, and the receipt in the pocket so that I have everything with the bag. So it's... It's olive green pebbled leather with the gold tone logo. It has these um, Sierra leather accents around the corners and it has feet four feet on the bottom with the reinforced strips and the strap is also in the Sierra leather. And I kind of wish this bag had that nice really beefy buckle like that other hobo that uh, Dooney and Burke has. <clears throat> Excuse me. They have one that's similar to this shape. Um, I believe it's the same one that um, Lori has, 49L Davis. She has in the DB print, the um, coated cotton DB print, she had it in white and black and I believe she sold the black one. So. Um, this one's got just a little bit different of a shape than that one. It's not as boxy down here and doesn't have as big of um, these bumpers or knee pads or shoulder pads or whatever you want to call them. Um, and then the strap has an adjustment right there on both sides and also a place where you can adjust it in three spots on the strap. But this one I've got, I didn't adjust this one at all and it's got a good enough slouch for me, so um, I didn't feel the need to adjust it at all. And so I just wanted to talk about this pebble grain leather that Dooney and Burke um, is making now for some of the newer bags. It feels a little thinner and lighter to me than some of the older, like the Dylan uh, pebbled leather bags and such. And it also has a very nice you know softness to it already I've only carried this bag probably this might be my second time carrying it second day carrying it and so it's already softened quite a bit and I have my things in here right now so it's got weight in it and this is what it looks like with everything inside I know it's hard to see um, but what I do find with this bag is it doesn't have, you know, that wide of an opening. And since it's a hobo, it, everything's down deep near the bottom. And so, you know, it's okay. I mean, it's not that restricted, but if you're the type who likes a wide open tote, 
this might not be you know something that you would like it tapers up a little bit here so that also contributes to the smaller opening um, the zipper is nice and smooth I didn't have any problems with that and so um, let me just show you what I have all what I have inside okay so I've got my glasses case I've got a pair of gloves I don't always carry those with me but you know the weather is kind of crazy I have my herbal drops from uh, Mr. Wilson's Dr. Wilson sorry Dr. Wilson um, I've got some hand lotion and just a piece of random paper and this is the wallet that I'm carrying right now it's the little Dooney and Burke card case these are my favorite I have three of these in different colors um, checkbook which I always carry with me I've got this little uh, this is the large slim wristlet the chevron coated cotton I love this color this is the taupe love it love 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 so I just carry in here my coupons and things so just like basically paperwork and stuff and then this is another chevron coated cotton that came with one of my chevron bags from QVC and here I've got all of my charger cable uh, you know a portable charger and things like that and some tissues in there and then this carries all of my other random stuff this is just a Disney Dooney um, small cosmetic case that EOS shouldn't have been in there but so that has like gum and mints and lipsticks and lip gloss and um, yeah a couple of bags of tea and that's about it so that other than my winning lottery ticket is about it so there it is empty and it's got the standard Dooney setup with the logo patch right there sorry my nails are a mess um, zipper pocket here and a, a slip pocket and they are lined in leather or not lined trimmed in leather um, and the two slip pockets the one with the snap and then the smaller one and the red cotton interior and nylon keykeeper and yes mrs. Q got metal so it's very lightweight without anything in it and with all of these things in it that I just showed you uh, still very lightweight and comfortable on the shoulder I really enjoy carrying this one it is great for the weekend trips to the grocery store and running around town and things like that it's just the utilitarian bag that looks nice and in my opinion has that nice equestrian look with these leather accents so let me just quickly put everything back in so that I can show you how it looks on because I want you to see it with uh, the weight in there so it's got the nice drape because you know what guys when you go to the store and you try this bag on and it's fully stuffed to the brim with stuffing and it's all poofy it does not look like that when it's on the body when you have your things in there and you're not going to be carrying a bag around full of stuffing you're going to be carrying a bag around with your stuff so I think I should coin that phrase um, so yeah everything fits really comfortably in there I don't have to juggle things around to get to things and put things on top the gloves I do kind of put on top and then even if you wanted to you know put ball up a scarf I could still fit that in there I'm not gonna zip that up because I would have to like you know I would have had to, had to do a better job at putting that in there but so that's how it looks with the stuff in there and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see let me give yeah I guess you can so this is what it looks like it's nice and slim slender to the body it does not look overwhelmingly big if you're a person who doesn't like large bags because I I can carry them but I you know for walking around town every day you know I don't want to be lugging a big bag around with me when this is really all I need with what I carry so 
I hate my backside, guys. I don't want to even turn around. Um, and here it is on the crook. It's still a nice bag where the strap is short enough that you can carry it on the crook of your arm. And it's wide enough that it doesn't cut in, you know, that much. So, yeah, so that's how it looks and I don't believe I gave you guys measurements so let's just see if this comes out right side up I don't know so the length of the bag is about 12 and a half the height to the center the lowest or the shortest length is about 10 up here on the edge it's about 11 let's see the width of the bag is just about five four and four and three quarter to five and the strap drop on the shorter setting here you can lengthen it and on the middle setting here with the slouch which is how it will be when you carry it. About 11, 11 inches. So again, you can extend that a little bit here and extend it here, or you can shorten it here uh, on, on the strap part. So yeah. I also have this bag in. I should have taken it out, and I didn't think about doing that. Um, maybe I'll go grab it. Okay, I did, I went and grabbed it. I also have it in the color mint. So this color is mint. It looks more like an aqua. Um, it's coming out a little bit lighter on camera than it is in real life. It's a little bit more deeper and it green um, to me. But here they are. So I have one for spring, summer, and I have one for fall, winter, so perfect. I liked it so much that um, I decided to get a second one. And I don't know, it's just so nice and soft. It's softened up so much. Okay, I don't think I could talk any more about this bag. So hopefully I've answered your questions and thank you so much for requesting this video. Um, I cannot remember now who requested the video. I'm so sorry. Uh, but thank you. And um, I'll try to put that in the comments below once I find that. Um, and then I just wanted to, yeah, I think that's, that's all I'm going to talk about, I guess. So thanks so much, you guys, for, for requesting the videos and for watching and for subscribing. I really appreciate it. And um, you guys are, you guys are awesome. That's all I'm going to say. Um, so, yeah, everybody who's going through trou troubles, I'm thinking about you guys, and I hope everything's okay. And you know who you are. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys all had a great day. And take care until the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.